Next we will solve one more very important problem which is based on an internal combustion engine. So, first let us understood the given problem. The problem is the following observations are rec were recorded. The following observations were recorded during the test on four stroke engine during the test on four stroke engine. So, these are the observations which were recorded during the test on four stroke engine. First, we will go through one by one. So, bore is 25 centimeter, the stroke is 40 centimeter and the crank speed is 250 rpm. The net load on the brake drum, net load on the brake drum is 700 Newton. The diameter of the drum is 2 meter and indicated mean effective pressure. The indicated mean effective pressure of the engine is 6 bar and the fuel consumption is 0 0.0013 kg per second. The MF, MF is equal to 0 0.013 kg per second. The specific gravity of the fuel, the specific gravity of the fuel which is 0 0.78 which is 0 0.78 and the calorific value and uh, the next for most very important uh, parameter called the calorific value of the fuel is 43,900 kilojoules per kg, okay, 43,900 kilojoules per kg. So, these are some of the important observations uh, were recorded during the test on four stroke engine, during the test on four stroke engine, okay. So, here we need to determine the brake power, indicated power, frictional power, mechanical efficiency, indicated thermal efficiency and the brake thermal efficiency and the brake thermal efficiency. These are the parameters we need to determine by using this uh, by using this observations which are which were recorded during the test on four stroke engine four stroke engine got it. So, next first let us note down the given data first let us note down the given data. So, here d is equal to the bore d is equal to 25 centimeter that is equal to 0 0.25 meter. 0.25 meter and next L is equal to L is equal to 40 centimeter that is equal to 0 0.4 0 0.4 meter L is equal to 40 centimeter that is equal to 0 0.4 meter and the speed of the engine or a crank speed that is 250 rpm capital N is equal to 250 rpm and the load the net load on brake drum that is W minus sorry uh, W minus S is equal to 700 Newton W minus S is equal to 700 mu mu Newtons the diameter of the brake drum capital D is equal to 2 meter 2 meter and for that the radius should be R is equal to 1 meter R is equal to 1 meter and we have one more very important uh, observation that is called the mean effective pressure pm is equal to pm is equal to 6 bar pm is equal to 6 bar and pm is equal to 6 bar and the fuel consumption mf is equal to 0 0.0013 kg per second mass of fuel consumption 0 0.013 kg per second and cv the calorific value cv is equal to 43900 kilojoules per kg 43900 kilojoules per kg and the specific gravity called the specific gravity specific gravity specific gravity is equal to 0 0.78 specific gravity is equal to 0 0.78 and uh, we know that the value of k is equal to 1 by 2 for 4 stroke engine 4 stroke engine value of k is equal to 1 by 2 for 4 stroke engine 
so this is about the given data and here they will not mention anything with respect to either it, it may be a single cylinder or double cylinder so you always if they will not mention anything with respect to that assume 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 n is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 okay if they will not mention anything with respect to that either it may be a single stroke or a double uh, sorry single cylinder or a double cylinder okay this is about the given data with respect to this given problem so first we will find out the brake power so first we will find out we need to determine the first parameter we need to find out the brake power first we need to find out the brake power so we have an equation that is the bp is equal to bp is equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60 into 1000 so this is the equation we have we have to find out the brake power so substitute all the values into this equation before that we need to find out the torque t is equal to we have an equation to determine the torque w minus s into r so where w minus s is nothing but a the net load on the brake drum the net load on the brake drum which is given in the problem that is w minus s is equal to 1000 sorry 700 newton and the diameter of the brake drum so which is d is equal to 2 meter and radius of the brake drum r is equal to 1 meter if you substitute these values here so which is 700 into 1 700 into 1 is equal to 700 newton meter so this is t is equal to 700 newton meter the torque with respect to this the net load on the brake drum so for that we need to know the diameter of the brake drum we know the diameter of the brake drum then we can easily find out the radius so with that we can find out the torque now if substitute all the values into this equation so here 2 into pi into we know the engine speed or crank speed which is uh, 250 rpm into we know the torque that is 700 newton meter divided by 60 into 1000 60 into 1000 if we simplify this if we simplify this bp is equal to bp is equal to 18 point 18.32 kilowatt 18.32 kilo when this is nothing but a the brake power next we need to find out the indicated power indicated power indicated power so we have an equation to find out the indicated power ip is equal to ip is equal to n into pm pm l a n l a n k into 10 by 10 by 6 so this is the equation we have to find out the indicated power now we know the value of n small n that is 1 into we know the value of pm which is given in the problem that is mean effective pressure of 6 bar 6 into we know the value of l that is called stroke length 40 centimeter which is 0 0.4 meter into we know the value of d so then we can easily find out the area so area is equal into so 5 by 4 5 by 4 into d square diameter of the bore is 25 centimeter which is 0 0.25 square into we know the value of n that is engine speed 200 sorry 250 rpm into the value of k for the four stroke engine 1 by 2 into 10 by 6 if we simplify this if we simplify this entire term we will get an indicated power is equal to 24.24.5 kilowatt 24.5 kilowatt this is the indicated power this is the indicated power so next we need to find out the third parameter with respect to this given problem called the frictional power frictional power 
we have an equation to find out the frictional power which is denoted by fp fp is equal to ip minus bp so ip minus bp we know the value of ip that is indicated power which is uh, 24.5 minus bp that is 18.32 kilowatt if we simplify this we will get the frictional power fp is equal to fp is equal to 6.18 kilowatt 6.18 kilowatt okay this is the frictional power next we need to find out the mechanical efficiency mechanical mechanical efficiency so for that we have an equation to find out the mechanical efficiency eta mc is equal to eta mc is equal to bp divided by ip into 100 so we know the value of bp that is equal to bp is equal to how much so 18 point 18.32 divided by ip is equal to 24.5 into 100 if we simplify this eta mech is equal to eta mech is equal to 74.7 percent if we simplify this we'll get 74.7 percent okay so this is about uh, the mechanical efficiency next we need to find out one more very important uh, parameter called the indicated thermal efficiency indicated indicated thermal efficiency so for that we have an equation so eta nth indicated eta ith indicated thermal efficiency is equal to indicated thermal efficiency is equal to indicated power it is the ratio of indicated power to the heat supply so heat supplied is equal to mass of fuel consumption into the calorific value into 100 okay so this is the equation we will use to find out the indicated thermal efficiency we know the value of ip so which is before that we need to find out that mf so mf is equal to mf is equal to the specific specific gravity specific gravity into fuel consumption specific gravity into the fuel consumption specific gravity into fuel consumption so that is equal to that is equal to 0 0.0013 into 0 0.78 this is a specific gravity and fuel consumption is 0 0.013 if we simplify this we will get 1.014 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg per second so this is called the mf now you substitute into this equation ip we already know 24.5 divided by mf is nothing but a 1.014 0.14 into 10 to the power minus 3 into into 43000 calorific value cv 43900 so into 100 if we simplify this entire term we'll get n ith indicated thermal efficiency we'll get 55 percent we'll get 55 percent so next we need to find out the break thermal efficiency the last uh, in this problem break thermal
brake thermal efficiency for that we have an equation n eta eta bth is equal to bp divided by dp divided by mf into cv into 100 so we know the value of mf and we know the value of cv and also we know the value of bp so that is uh, brake power 18.32 divided by we know the value of mf that is uh, 1.014 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 43900 into 100 so if we simplify this uh, eta bth is equal to brake thermal efficiency is equal to we will get 41.1 percent 41.1 percent so this is called the brake thermal efficiency so this is about the given problem so this is about the given problem 